So now I just got to screw this onto the back over top of the plate. That's simple enough. Boomer, hey. You want to help me with this? No? Be fine. So I bought this uh, wireless backup camera at Costco. Type S. What's the name, Brian? Turing, Turing Items Type S. You want to go out? Just let me know that then. Sorry, he had to go outside to do his business. It's a cloudy, drizzly day today here and all in sound. What can you do? Anyways, I bought this wireless backup camera and uh, I'm going to install it today, hopefully. It's H to high definition 720p. It's got a very wide uh, angle on it, 160 degrees, almost 180. It's solar charger, so this is solar charge. So the sun hits that, it charges the battery to operate the camera. Expandable wireless camera system. So I could get another camera and put it at the front of the uh, motorhome. And the screen, this thing's really, really wide. Like my, my uh, garment's about maybe that size. So this is really wide. And of course it goes in cars, trucks, boats, RVs, vans, whatever. So let's go get a knife and open her up. So the first thing I gotta do is take off the old license plate, obviously, which is this one. Now the funny story about this is when I bought the motor home and we were at the Ontario place getting the sticker and all that, I had a guy come over that was working on a building and he went to take that off and the little piece of plastic up here, it cracked. So I had to drill a new hole and I can only drill up about, I don't know, another half an inch higher. So that's why the license plate's crooked. So I wanted to get the camera on here. It's going to be crooked too. Nothing you can do about that. So one of the other things you got to do is take this thing, this is the, uh, the camera and the uh, solar panel thing, not solar panel, solar charger. I got to plug this into here. Like so. And plug that into a wall outlet. He's outside and then I got to um, charge that up. Let's read the manual to see how. So the manual said that you have to charge this overnight. So uh, we'll continue this in the morning. Boomer. Hey. Did you go out in the lake again and get all wet? You did, didn't you, right? Yeah. Your bandana's all soaking wet. You know what? I have to teach you how to swim, you know, just before you, you just go run out in the lake and go swimming. Let's go. We've got to go back to the trailer. Let's go. Okay, so the next day, the camera charged all up, but before we install, i got to let oh, Boomer out because he got stuck up here. What happened? Want to come down? Come on. Come. 
Okay, I'm going down. Let's go. Go. Go for a run. Go for a run. Go for a run. You don't want to go for a run? All right. Lights on in here. Okay, this is all charged up. When there's no red light, that means it's charged. So let's go take it out to the RV, the motorhome, and test it with the screen. Okay, so we're in the motorhome now, and we're going to uh, first take the monitor, which is this thing. I got to mount that still and plug that into the cigarette lighter. I don't think they call them cigarette lighters anymore, they're just called 12 volt. Okay. Okay, so I got power to the monitor, and now I've just got to uh, turn on the camera on the uh, back plate thing. And they say to push this button and hold it for one second. Oh, and there we go. And there, it's working. And there's me. Man, I need a haircut. And I don't need glasses. That's just for reading. Oh, what happened? Technical difficulties here. Okay, I know why it went off because it's on a timer, so it shuts off after a few seconds. So it must be on the lowest setting. So I gotta wave my hand or touch the screen, and there it comes back on again. That, that's gonna be cool. So let's take a look at the camera here. Wow, that's pretty wide screen. <laughs> so, so it works. They said to do this first to test it. So you're seeing me in the oh, sorry, you're seeing me in the camera testing the camera. That's kind of weird. So now I can put this on back of the back of the motorhome with the license plate now. So we'll go do that. So now I just got to screw this onto the back over top of the plate. That's simple enough. Gotta go get the other screwdriver, the Robertson. Sorry it took so long. Did you guys know that Robertson screwdriver is Canadian made screwdriver and they don't use them in the USA? Tighten this up, snug. And re tighten this one up. And this is solar. This part is solar, so it's going to uh, keep the battery charged for the camera while we're traveling, as long as the sun's hitting it, which it is today. Okay, now we can go back to the motorhome and check. Okay, so that's all installed. It is going to be crooked. Like I said, the plastic thing broke off there, so. Maybe later I could break the part off here too and drill a new hole and then raise it up, but I don't think it's going to matter that much on the camera, so let's go take a look. Okay, so there's the camera. Oh, and there's my father-in-law walking by. <laughs> hey, Don. Wave. Hey. Be nice. It works, eh? Yeah, it works. 
Of course, there's no sound, but that's really wide. That's pretty cool. And then you can dress, you can adjust those uh, green, yellow, and red things too as well, for for height. And it has night vision on it. And it's got a lot of other ex, uh, other other options on it that I gotta check out. So, but at least it works. That's good. And it goes off after I guess that was set for 15 seconds. And then all I do to turn it back on is just wave my hand. See, and it comes right back on, or touch the screen. And I can change the setting so it goes off after I think the maximum is 45 seconds, but that better be enough to uh, for backing up. Cool. I'll look into what the other options are and uh, let you know. And I'll and I will uh, post this on tonight probably or tomorrow. It's Sunday now, and uh, I'll put a link into where you can buy these. They're at Costco, but I'll give you the name and all that. Okay, bye. So, oh. So here are the settings for this camera. Turn it on. And what the features has. First you can go to info button. And that tells you just what the uh, things that you can change and all that. And indicators, battery and stuff like that. And the parking line on and off button. So let's so turn that on. Oh, sorry, close that. So parking line, you can put these parking lines on. So when you're backing up, that'll turn to the left or turn to the right. And then this under settings, you have you can pair the pair the camera again if it for some reason it gets unpaired. This obviously works through Bluetooth, but you can rotate the camera. So it's not really rotating; it's like more like mirroring. Like I know my if I'm back there behind there, I look to the right. That's the right side of my fa my father-in-law's house. So that's. Uh, his bedroom actually but if I click this button it reverses it so his bedroom's on this side so I want to see it normally and then you have brightness and change the brightness lighter or darker I think that's good contrast so this is more like a it's more like sharpness bus button than it is contrast but I'll keep that right there operation time so you can Set it so you can leave the camera on for 30 seconds, then it goes off automatically, or 45, 60, or 90 seconds, a minute and a half. I don't think I'll have it on longer than 30 seconds. I can back up pretty quick. 30 seconds is long enough for me. And then motion detection. This is where you can, it won't detect like a car behind you if it's really, until it's really close to you, so near or mid distance or really far. So if there's a car behind you really far away, the camera will automatically come on and tell you which is good because while I'm driving I can see uh, cars behind me and then you can change to different languages so this thing's pretty cool and you go back to settings oh and there's Carrie and she's uh, bringing stuff to pack into the van and there's one more setting for two I don't know what that means but oh, okay that's for split screen so I can put another camera on here oh Carrie's packing up the, the van I can put another camera on the front if I wanted to. And look at that. To add a second camera, the part number is this. And you visit this website and order it today. Do you really want to push it over another camera? So the rear camera will be on that side and the front will be on that side. I'll go over there and check it out, see how much they are. But right now, I won't really need a front camera. It would be cool if you could do all three sides. Oh, and it went off after 30 seconds. So I just wave my hand and it comes back on. And I'll change that back to one camera. Okay, so the last thing I gotta do is mount this up on the dashboard. You can mount it on the, the glass, which I don't wanna do. I wanna mount it right about here, cause it's gonna be better. And uh, this camera comes with, or this, this backup camera comes with one of these things that you glue to the um, dashboard. But this motorhome already had one. So all I gotta do is take this and use the suction cup thing and then plug it onto that. Now, in case you didn't know, some of these, the glue, the glue part here usually works on their dashboard. But if you ever have one that keeps coming off, just buy some No More Nails and put some under there. I put it on my in my car and it has not removed. I can't even get it off with a screwdriver. It was perfect. And I also think I had to put some No More Nails glue on this part as well. And I use that for my uh, phone in my car at home. So let's, uh, we'll try the suction cup for a while, see if it falls off. If it does, then I'll just have to put some uh, no more nails on there. So let's put her on. Okay, so 
Okay, so I got this on, and man, that suction cup felt like it really held tight, so I don't think that's gonna fall. It's pretty cool, here, let me show you. So you slide that back, that go, takes, takes it off, and then you just slide this really hard across, and it suction cups on there. But what happens to suction cups usually is just a, there's always like a little pinhole underneath it, so the air just kind of gradually goes out, and then they fall off, so. Now I'm just gonna mount the camera on there, and I think we're done. Okay, I got that mounted. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's not in my way of driving, I don't think. I'll have to wait until I start driving. But So now to turn it on, all you do is wave your hand magically. And there's the back of the camera. Oh, well, I didn't show you this part. You can touch the screen and hold it. And, the, and it goes up and down as well. So I can see down, farther down, or up in the sky if I wanted to. But the ground's most important, so I'll keep it like that. I just agree, I can't wait to start driving and check it out. So the camera's all hooked up. My cell phone's all hooked up too. I use that for GPS. And uh, I just gotta pack up Carrie's van with some of her father's stuff from her to bring home. And we're going to uh, bring the motor home, home for the next two months. Take my son to uh, college in a couple of weeks. Oh no, sorry, next week. Yeah. And after that, uh, We'll do some day trips here and there. Oh my god, I gotta clean the back window when I get home. I'm gonna wash the whole thing. See you guys back at my house. Bye bye. Uh, I almost forgot the gas tanks. This is the cheap gas we buy up here. And take it home and fill it up in the motorhome. All right, guys, we are on the road and on the way home. We even carries Dad's house. That's the view of the front. And that's the rear view camera. And it's doing pretty good. I think this is going to work out well. Rumor's already got his head rested on the dashboard. She always does. And we'll see you when we get home. I had to stop at this gas station to take some video of this beautiful old Cadillac. I think it's a late 60s. No, I think it's an earlier 60s, maybe, uh, I don't know, around 60. If you guys know what year this is, that is beautiful. This is a 1964 Cadillac Eldorado, right? Yeah, or, uh, Coupe de Ville. Coupe de Ville, sorry. No, I just pulled over and saw it, so I gotta take some video of this. Is that your that, yeah, come on in. What is that, a Great Dane? And he's out of here. Sixty. What did he say? I forgot. Now. Nice car, though. Boomer. Boomer. Hey. We're home, Boomer. <laughs> we are home. It's not locked. It's open. Carrie's trying to get in my son's car to move it out of the way so I can park the motor home in the driveway. That was a long drive. Three hours. We stopped a couple of times. If you hear that, that's my son's car. So next weekend, we're going to take my son to a college and we're staying at a boondockers welcome for three nights. And we'll see you next week. Say goodbye, Boomer. Uh, bye, Boomer. Bye-bye.